Hello, this is John Spielman with, well, it's not really a roundup of the round, um, of the last round of the Candidates Tournament and some thoughts about the tournament itself and the World Championship match which will follow. <coughs> so what happened today was that Ian Nipomnishi had won the tournament as a result of there being tie breaks rather than rapid play. I don't know how much he celebrated last night. It doesn't matter. He must have been exhausted emotionally after what had happened and he got absolutely splatted by Ding Liren and we'll do this very very quickly I mean it's just a horrible game by him it doesn't mean anything as far as I'm concerned played knight, eight, knight h5 in check and queen eight, knight e5 knight e2 queen h4 the guy took I and mean, if you go knight g3 check, king g1, takes, 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 takes. It's just a horrible position for black. Disgusting position. He's the exchanger, but look at his dark squares. Yuck. What does the engine say? Plus 1.3. Don't really care. Uh, and guy managed to make quite serious trouble. Um... Queen E3 is a good move apparently. I've got an engine on. I'm not. I think that's not a great move. And this position is just vile because D6 is loose. The big problem with the Benoni is the D6 pawn. If this pawn were here it would be a completely different position. As it is. Ding. One at a canter. Knight checks is that much better than pawn takes rook. Pawn takes rook wins as well, of course. And he resigned. He, he'd had enough. The guy's going to take the rook and then play knight d5 check and, I don't know, whatever he likes. It's all completely winning. Okay, so that was poor Ding being splatted. MVL played Wang Hao. Wang Hao actually got... Sorry, it's a Berlin end game. I'm playing at the speed of light, aren't I? Uh, let me just check, by the way, that this is recording, and it is good. Um, they got some position, which didn't look that clear to me. But basically, uh, Wang Hao is completely out of shape in this tournament. Awful things happened. Game continuing at the moment. Yeah, very good. Knight takes b5, resigns, because he loses the house and all and the dogs and you know the garden. Rook takes rook, knight takes knight check, king d7, rook takes rook check, king c7. King takes c7, the white is completely winning, I imagine. Okay, that was pretty foul. Um, at the moment, there are two games going on. Anishkiri is, is he being mated by... Uh, Alexienko looks like he's being mated. Maybe not anymore. Mate in four, says the engine. Uh, is it Alexienko's move? Oh, it's sorry, it's Alexienko's move. That's bad luck. Okay. Uh, mate in ten now. If you play Queen takes G3. Basically, Geary tried too hard and has lost and doesn't mean anything really. Uh... Oh, F5, F5 is mate. Good heavens, I haven't seen that. I was looking at... Yeah, okay. So Geary loses because he tried too hard. And Caruana is a bit better in a double rook ending, but it should be a draw. Okay, well, that's what's happened today. Now let's um, think about... And here's Chess Bomb, which we don't particularly need at this moment. Uh, live ratings we could update, I suppose. Ding has actually had a good result, finally. He won his last three games. Nipo was playing terrifically until he obviously had had, you know, blown out of adrenaline, if not uh, uh, blown with alcohol as well. Geary played very well in the second half. Caruana started very well with his tremendous novelty against MVL, but went wrong a bit later. OK, so what's happened in the tournament? <coughs> So it started on May, uh, March the 17th, I believe, 2020, with um, 
this big round in which Geary lost his white against Nepo, and that came to haunt the whole tournament. Um, eventually, they finished the first half. MVL beat Geer beat um, Nepo and was doing very well. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll go back to here, I suppose, to see what to see how they're doing. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I think Black can pretty even exchange rooks by now quite often. And um, so they were equal. But then they had the year off. And poor MVL, during that year off, his favourite opening, his Sicilian Nidorf, imploded. Complete disaster. Got bashed by... Um, Nils Grandelius, excuse me, in Vicenze, got bashed by Caruana, also lost to Geary, but though he was completely okay in that game. MVL had to decide what to do. First game of the second half, he's black against Caruana. He checks every line of the um, poison pawn in then duplicate, but when he plays, he gets splatted because he doesn't get splatted. Caruana plays a fantastic novelty. MVL defends himself. They reach the disgusting ending where, which is drawn according to a table based but very hard, eventually Caruana grinds him down. This has the effect of putting Caruana ahead of MVL already. And the thing I want to complain about, I've seen Gary Kasparov complain about it, other people complain about, is the stupidity of not having a rapid play playoff but um, having a tie break because the tie break was head to head scores well it's reasonable to say the guy who got the biggest score against the other guy has had a better tournament it's a possible point of view Though obviously he's had the worst tournament against the rest the, the other players but the thing is it completely skews the tournament because there, there were ties that completely messed everything up. So towards the end, after Geary beat Caruana in the fantastic game in game 12, Geary was only half a point behind Nepo, but he was a whole point behind because of the head-to-head -head score on March the 17th, um, 2020. And this is a ridiculous way... <coughs> this is ridiculous, really. It just isn't what should have happened. And... Um, as a result, um, Geary had to play like a, a maniac in the penultimate round and he lost to Grischuk. Grischuk said, I was playing like a terrorist, he was winding him up. It's fair enough, it's completely fair tactics, but horrible for Geary, uh, who didn't really have a chance. He had to try to win and he lost. And, and Geary today, for some reason, decided he was going to play like a maniac against Alexienka. Well, no, he got worse. He more or less equalised. He got... Um, he tried to win and he lost. So he didn't play like a maniac. Alexienk actually played quite a good game today in bits. Um, though there was quite a lot of up and down. So we now have a World Championship match between Nipo, Ian Nipomnishi and Magnus Carlsen himself in Dubai in... I think it starts... Does it start in October something? October 25th or something is what is scheduled. And the question is what will happen? And I made a database. You can see I've got this set up so you can see what I've got set up. And this is a database. That's me. That's not the database we wanted. That's also not the database we wanted. But eventually we will get the great database of Carson and Nipomnishi. If we go S in here and we go to Player. Uh, and we put in Magnus Carlsen, which I did. Um, no, this is, I think that this is white and black. And that's also interesting itself. If I put in the player, I put in the name Carlsen, as you might. And I go for Magnus Carlsen, OK. Then it tells me that he's 116. Really? I thought he had a plus score. Uh, oh, maybe maybe Nepo has a plus score then. That's interesting. I thought Carson had a plus score. But um, certainly Nepo has a very good score 
uh, at classical chess, I believe. I don't know what it is exactly. What has been happening is that in recent games, the most recent time they played was they played in the Magnus Carlsen. Sorry, you've got a lot of rubbish here. In the Carlsen. I'm going to make this, what, a match? Let's make this a match. Uh, match. Right. Um, well, they played in the Carson Invitational and Nupo beat Carson. Um, and let's have Carlson and let's put in Nepo. I'm sorry we're doing this faffing, but you're seeing my whole screen all the time. And is that right? Have I got the right one? Is that 2020? Sorry, I've got the wrong one. I thought I must have. MC Tour Finals. Um, blah, blah. What's it called? Carson Invitational 2021. There you are. Sorry, got the wrong one. Carson and Nipo. And they played this quarter final match, or was it semi final match, which Nipo won. And Carson started by winning, but Nipo proved to be a really tough opponent for him. And eventually Nipo beat him. Carson beat him a couple of times at the end when he had to, which is quite indicative. So we'll just look at these. Carson, first game, gets a positional advantage. Well, this is unclear. Things happen. Um, there was a dramatic moment somewhere around here. I think that at this stage, actually, Queen F4 is better for white, I think, but it all went wrong. Bishop C4 is very clever. That's a brilliant move by Nipo to fight. Should have played Rook A1 at once, in fact. E3, there's some ridiculous draw with Rook A4, but okay, it's they're playing Rook A1, very nice. If King takes B2 check and Bishop A2 check. And so Carson won that. He won the first game on the first day, but Nipo won some nice game where he wound the guy, guy up. He had to win as black, and he did, which is very impressive. Very impressive. I have a cat scratching the carpet. Hello, cat. Uh, in the background. Presumably she wants feeding, but I think in a minute she... Well, things will happen. Okay, so Nipo, big, big fight this game. Um... I'm not trying to... King a6 is a good move. Putting the king somewhere safe. And this lot didn't quite work. And Nupo managed to win this game. So, at that stage, um, they were equal. I think, is that right? After the first day. Then... Um, what happened? Second day... I got this right. I thought, I don't understand, have I got two copies of the same game or something? One, I don't understand what this is doing here. Is that, oh, oh did they, did they, are they supposed to play off that day or something? And maybe, maybe this is completely out of, out of phase. Anyway, they played a couple of games. Nipo won the first game. I thought that Carson had to win two games in a row at the end of that day to survive. Had Nipo won the first day? Looks as though Nipo had won the first day. Anyway, eventually they got to Blitz. I'm sorry to be confused. Carson was played a beautiful game in this game. Something ridiculous happened. A mouse slipped somewhere around about here. Um, just playing the moves. I'm not trying to make any sense. Shows how much he winds him up, I suppose. Rook b6, two question marks. Funny thing is that engines don't think this is a mistake because the assessment stays the same. More fools then. Anyway, eventually Carson drew this one. Then Carson was pushing, pressing against Nipo in the final game. But when he pressed too hard, 
the really indicative thing is that Nipo was able to play for a win. Round about here, I believe that in this position, um, I believe somewhere round about here, Queen takes d5 does draw, allegedly, because you can give enough checks. Although the b-pawn runs, at some point you manage to give checks to mess black around. Very unobvious, but Carson lost this. Uh, the Black King got round. And there were some more checks. And this is going to be lost. You're always going to lose that. Well, that's a bit cheeky, but that is... It was internet chess. But what was interesting was that Nipo didn't think... Um, this is wonderful. I've managed to draw against the Great Master from a bad position. He thought, right, now I'm going to beat him. And he did. And that reminded me of Anatoly Karpov. So what I think is that um, Nipo will fight in a match, but probably Carson will be the favourite. Let's see what the assessment is at this point. 0 0.00 apparently. Not obvious, but there we are. I mean, you know, it, it's not obvious that white space doesn't matter, but we can certainly believe it. You know, that quite often I look at a computer assessment and I think, well, do I believe that that might be true? If rook h1, I assume you go h4, so you have to go takes, takes. Uh, not a good idea, I would have thought to do that. So you have to go takes, 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 and maybe c5, try to get the king in, but it'll end as a draw. So, Nipo has actually won the tournament by a whole point after Geary blew up in the final round, but it was all because of the bad system that the, the people panicked and bad things happened. In the final round, Geary wanted to make a point and he made the opposite point, but it doesn't really matter. It will be a great match and I look forward to it. Um, and um, we'll see what happens. Who knows what they will have prepared in the interim. Okay, I'm going to stop now. I hope you've enjoyed the tournament and uh, this is not so exciting now but it's been a great tournament with some fantastic chess they are wonderful players and it's been a joy to watch it cheers then